Welcome to the Quick Start video where we cover the basics and start your experience on PolicyMap. To get started, set a location by typing in the address in the search bar above. The map will zoom to the address and drop a pin. If you do not have an address, you can search for places like zip codes, cities, and counties. Searching by places will show the boundaries of that location. The map is fully interactive, allowing users to zoom in and out using your mouse wheel or the navigation buttons on the bottom right. If you do not want to search for individual locations, you can display boundaries using the Boundaries menu. Users can customize map boundaries by removing the labels, changing the line types, width, and even color. Users have control of the underlying base maps with the Map Options menu. From there, users can remove base layers like parks, roads, labels, water, and other symbols to create a cleaner map. Once your map is set, you can begin to add data by selecting a category, then filtering down to the data layer you want to display. Mouse over Replace to see the value for each location, Select a location to see more data, as well as a trend chart. The info bubble will show you the value of the location selected and also the benchmark of the locations it sits in. Users can see the yearly values for each benchmark or open a trend chart to see a comparison of other or multiple locations. The legend for a data layer will display all the information needed to read the map, including the data title, the year, the variable, and color ranges value. For more information on the data layer, select the eye icon, which will display a description of the data and links to the data source. The legend also allows users to customize the data by changing the year, the variable, isolating individual ranges, or even making your own cut points. Point datasets are address level datasets like libraries, museums, hospitals, and public schools. Select an icon to display more information for an address. For public school locations, users can see information of the school, as well as the grades, total number of students, or even the demographics of the school. The point data legend allows users to customize the icons by changing the colors, the size, or even the shapes. Use the legend to filter the icons based on the data for each point dataset. For public schools, again, users can filter by a wide range of options, including grades, total number of students, or the demographics. Finally, when you have a map with your location, data layer, any customizations, and sites added, you can print and export the map. The print modal allows you to zoom and pan the map to match what you'd like to capture. Users have options to customize the map, including editing the title, the orientation of the map, and the file format. We hope you have a fresh sense of how to use Policy Map. Please visit our support page for more information and a calendar of trainings. For additional questions, please call us at 866-923-6277 or email us at info at policymap.com. Thank you.